With the daily updates, you can't make up, it's the Black Isle Correspondent. She lives in Fort Rose and tells us what goes on. If your isolation causes desperation, try the Black Isle Correspondent. If you're feeling grumpy, you'll find some company here. Today, the back fence gets power hosed. All of that bit. My Everest. So I'm going to the keeper box, I'm getting the band back together. Cue the power hose. Hello, old friend. The extension cord. The proper washer, water hose. Old boots. Dungarees. And the rock. There is no child of the 80s that wouldn't want to play Ghostbusters with this thing. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Good start. Oh! You have a job to do anything! Job done. Who was the fence and scatter? The bird seed. Oh. Nice job. See you going down. Uh oh, there's pants on the clothesline. <laughs> She's so coy. <laughs> She's off. I've subcontracted some filming today. Dad's had the dogs down at Shannon New Point. They love to feel the wind in their lugs. They're knackered now. Somebody picked up on MacPhail being an interesting name for a dog. Well... Para handy readers might recognise MacPhail as the engineer aboard the Vital Spark in Sunny, after Sunny Jim, who was the cook. There you are now. Part of today's admin has included trying to get a blue tick on Twitter. Not sure exactly what getting a blue tick does. I think celebrities start messaging you or you get invited to parties and stuff? I don't know, maybe we'll end up with some amazing guest stars on the Black Isle Correspondent. Maybe Macaulay Culkin will come on. It doesn't seem likely, although I remain hopeful. Maybe one of the Ghostbusters. Anyway, I'll definitely keep trying. These are strange times that we're living in, with us all cooped up in our houses and not able to socialise in any of the normal ways. But conversely, we're probably all seeing a lot more of and having a lot more contact with friends and family than we normally would when real life gets in the way. Things like Zoom and Skype and FaceTime and photo messages and videos and the internet make the world seem smaller and make this difficult time seem an awful lot more bearable to a lot of people. So with that in mind, a thought for today. Again from the dictionary of quotations, I'm going to run out of these soon. This time from Hilaire Belloc. From quiet homes and first beginning, out to the undiscovered ends, there's nothing worth the wear of winning but laughter and the love of friends. <laughs>